actually pumpkin, I think I'll take it. Uh? One would hate to mess up that lovely hairdo. Ah, shucks. Are you trying to scare me or something? Cause you really suck at it. Okay then, fine. We'll play it your way, shall we? What the f My- my ship! Hi, this is Jay from Gamefill, and today I'm reviewing Blade Kitten by Chrome Studios. Blade Kitten is very reminiscent of both Shonen Manga, on which it's based, and 90s platformers with their collectible elements. And although the controls take a little bit of getting used to, once you have gotten used to them, it's actually very fun. The plot is deceptively simple. Kit Ballard, a bounty hunter from a race of nearly extinct cat people, comes to the planet of Hollow Wish to kick ass and take names. Unfortunately, from the very beginning, hilarity ensues, and poor Kit gets embroiled in a rather large struggle. The fate of Hollow Wish may well be in her hands. Let's keep an eye on them both. Of course, if we want to know more, lots of people have to get the game so episode 2 comes around, because it is an episodic game. Okay, now we've got the plot out the way, let's get to the nitty gritty. Is it fun? In short, yes, it has some irritating moments, but generally it's a good laugh, and 13 fairly long levels, that's well worth the ten. The game also has boodles of collectibles which ups the replay value immensely. Of course, no game is perfect, and Blade Kitten is no exception. Due to the icon-based help, you will have to look at your key configuration or gamepad and test it out. I would really recommend that for the next episode or patch, the controls are better explained and there's a test function for gamepad owners. I would also recommend that some of the moves are better explained. For example, um, jump and grab is not quite correct for a perch move. It's actually jump, then grab. Finally, we come to the voice acting. I personally quite enjoyed the voice acting. It fit the genre and it was generally quite fun, but opinion is divided. For example, making the main character sound like a valley girl was always going to be a dividing move. I think it fits, but judging by the LPs out there, opinion is very divided. Still, if you like a platformer that's half exploration, half combat, then by all means this is very good value for a tenor. 4 out of 5. This has been Jay from Gamerfill. Wishing you all a good week. I said this is your final warning. Okay, Ginger Pants. You can just stop there. Huh?